Arizona Attorney General Chris Mays joins us now here on Morning Joe. Thank you very much for coming on the show. We, <clears throat> we heard your words yesterday, and I'm curious, what is going to happen moving forward? Like, let's say <clears throat> you're a woman who has just found out she's pregnant and she lives in Arizona and she's worried. What happens if she has a problematic pregnancy? What happens if she needs a DNC? What happens if she needs a termination because she has fetal abnormalities? Does she need to leave the state? Mika, hi, thanks for having me. It's a, it's an important question. And, uh, you know, yesterday, women and men, Republicans, independents, Democrats woke up to a situation in which the Arizona Supreme Court uh, reimposed this 1864 ban. It's insane. It's egregious. It's an affront to our freedom. And so, uh, you know, I think women uh, are scrambling right now to try to figure this situation out. Uh, I have said that I will not prosecute any woman, doctor, pharmacist, nurse, uh, or individual who helps a woman to seek uh, an abortion or reproductive access. Um, I've also said, and we are going to, we are looking for, at everything we can right now from a legal standpoint to prevent this decision from going into effect. And I've had some phone calls uh, from my fellow attorneys general in states around Arizona, um, and frankly, from throughout the state, and the vice president of the United States calling me saying, mm -hmm. hey, how can we help you? So you say you will not prosecute a woman seeking abortion, someone who conducts one. Let me just ask you to level, though, with the people of Arizona, with the women of Arizona. Right now, you're going to do everything you can to try and push back against what the Arizona Supreme Court has done. We agree that it is terrible what they've done, that it is a danger to women and it creates specific and clear life-threatening situations for them. If someone you love is in their first trimester, what is your advice? Should they leave the state of Arizona or hope that you and saying that you won't prosecute will not cause still confusion and problems and possibly the inability to get the health care that this woman needs. What would you do yeah. if it was someone you love? Yeah, Macon, you know, I'm I'm a mom too, and this is something that I think obviously uh, a lot of women need to have a conversation with their OBGYN um, and make a plan, make a backup plan for what to do if something goes wrong. Um, I think that's, you know, that is why I'm going to be having conversations with my surrounding state AGs about how they can help and how um, other states can help if a woman uh, has a difficulty in her pregnancy so that that person can go to another state. I do think we are, we, I mean, we are a couple months away from this law actually being implemented. As I said, I'm going to do everything I can to try to prevent it from ever being implemented. The good news is in November, the people of Arizona are going to vote on a ballot initiative that would permanently enshrine abortion rights in our constitution. But you're right, there is this going to be this period of time where uh, pregnant women uh, are, if something goes wrong, if they need an abortion, if they want an abortion, may have to look to other states. And so I think that's something they're gonna need to start thinking about and making a plan for potentially. Yeah, you know, Adrian Elrod, we'll get to the politics of this in just a minute. I know you might have a question for the attorney general. I will just say that what's happening in Arizona right now is causing a swirl of confusion, at least, at the very least, because what the Supreme Court has done is unequivocal. Then there's going to be appeals to this and what the attorney general is trying to do and promising to do, and I believe her. Uh, at the same time, I know in another state there was a case of a very young girl, I believe 13 years old, who was raped in a yard and then found out she was pregnant. And all the confusion around abortion bans led to this child having to bring this baby to term, um, which in itself was a story and a health risk and a, and a bunch of different issues. So with that, what is your question for the attorney general? 
Yeah, first of all, Attorney General, thank you so much for your leadership on this and for really taking a stand. You know, I want to go back to something that you just talked about, how, you know, you're looking to talk to other attorney, attorneys general across the region, you know, even to an extent across the country. And, of course, all of you have been on the front lines of so many things, democracy, protecting a women's right to choose over the last few years. So as a woman myself, I'm very grateful for that. But can you sort of elaborate on that? Like, if you are working to cre create a system of, of, you know, a network, if you will, with other attorneys generals, like, what does that look like? And do you sort of create, like, a little system where, as Mika mentioned, if there's a 13-year-old girl who's raped in a yard, you know, like, how can she get to another state quickly? Is that something that you truly feel like is, is something that you can do over the next few months between now and the election? You know, that's a great question, and, and it's something that we are thinking through right now. The good news is, you know, I am a pro-choice, pro-abortion rights uh, attorney general. We have them in California. We have them in Nevada, New Mexico. And so we have this opportunity where if that kind of a situation were to happen, if a young girl were to be raped and become pregnant um, and we need to get her out of the state, I believe that we could get her out of the state and we would do everything we could. We would also fight in court to prevent uh, you know, her from being exposed and, and, and um, from this law being imposed on her. So there's a difference here, which is you have a Democratic AG in me who's going to do everything I can to fight the imposition of this law um, from 1864 on that situation, on that young girl. And we've got surrounding states that want to help. As I said, these states have already reached out to, to me uh, to see how they can help. Uh, you know, in that situation, it would be, how can we get her safely across state lines into California where abortion is, is legal? I'd love to have you back to hear more about how this is actually being put in place, especially how the word is gonna get out two women across the state of Arizona using pharmacies or, or community centers or what? How do they get this information to know that they are safe and that they will get the health care they need? Would love to have you back anytime soon to get more developments on this story as it happens. Arizona Attorney General Chris Mays, thank you very much for coming on the show this morning. Hey everyone, MSNBC has a new and improved app. You'll get real-time alerts and analysis, live blogs, in-depth essays, video highlights, and the best 2024 election coverage. Download the new MSNBC app. Here's how to do it. You tap on the App Store on your phone. You hit search on the bottom right corner. You type in MSNBC. You click on the MSNBC app. You click on get or the cloud icon and enjoy it.